Hey everyone! So I think it's pretty safe to say at this point that Mortal Kombat 12 is basically right around the corner. I mean, I know nothing has officially been confirmed in terms of release dates, but people are saying the game is coming out very soon, in fact probably coming out this year. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I do think that a new Mortal Kombat game is long overdue at this point. I just checked a while ago and MK11 was released in April of 2019, which means that we are nearing the fourth anniversary of the game's release. And at this point, I think it's time to move on to new things. Now, while I don't mind the fact that NRS has taken a longer period of time off from making their games, I mean, it's a meme at this point, but people have always called NRS sort of the Infinity Ward slash Activision of the fighting game world in that they had by far the quickest release cycles for their games and because of that their games tended to die out pretty quickly from a competitive perspective as well. Now MK11 is still going, I don't know if I can say it's still going strong in a competitive way. Injustice 2 is seeing a bit of a resurgence at this point and MKX is still going strong although that might be just my bias because it's my favorite. But yeah, I think a new game will definitely help inject some new blood into the scene and some new life. And yeah, you guys know I love NRS fighting games and whatever they release, I am looking forward to. Still, I do want to push the blind fanboyism aside for a second and talk about some of the things that I would really love to see in the new Mortal Kombat game from a gameplay perspective. Now, this is going to be various different features um, and I'm just spitballing off the top of my head. These are not in any particular order, but I feel like uh, some of these would go a long way in making the game a little bit healthier from a competitive perspective because I don't know, I don't think it's a secret to say that I did not really enjoy MK11. And I think there are quite a few complaints that people in general have of MK11 from a gameplay perspective. So yeah, let's just go over some of these and I will go ahead and list these off. And yeah, if you have any opinions or other things you would like to talk about, do leave them in the comment section. I'm always interested to hear people disagree or agree or have different views. And yeah, as always, make sure to comment and subscribe and like the video if you're enjoying what you're seeing. So yeah, the number one change I would really love to see in the new MK game is I would really like to see loot boxes and gear as well as stats for characters go. Now, okay, I should say the statistics, who cares? For all I care, they can stay on the offline modes and the towers. But I think the loot boxes and the gear system really needs to go. The gear, the main issue with gear is that essentially characters lose a bit of their identity because everything really kind of just looks like you're picking sort of different plastic parts to your action figures. With the gear system, eventually none of the characters really have identities. The colors that you get do not do enough, in my view, to distinguish characters. Especially, like, compare something like picking a different scorpion color with whatever gear versus selecting two different outfits for Chun-Li in Street Fighter V. The difference is night and day. Even looking back into MKX, a lot of the characters had awesome costumes, like the cybernetic Jackie one, the what's it called, the ninja mind one for Johnny Cage. All of these costumes have so much personality and so much identity for the character and it's a lot stronger of an identity when the developer actually makes these costumes. Again, instead of you picking four different options or three different options that you got from loot boxes. Speaking of loot boxes, I absolutely hate these things. Loot boxes always immediately put a sour taste in my mouth and I don't think I'm alone in that. And I feel like people give NRS almost too much leeway with this because the excuse is always that, well, you don't have to use it. If you actually play competitive online, it doesn't matter. But it does matter because the loot box system in both Injustice 2 and in MK11 is predatory as fuck and there's no denying it. There's nothing here other than squeezing as much money out of people as possible and I think the whole coin system, loot box system and gear system is just awful and it really needs to go. I know, I know MK games are probably expensive, they're probably more expensive 
uh, because of their budget than many other fighting games, but I think there needs to be a better way for NRS to recoup their profits than to just shove loot boxes into these games. The second thing I would really love to see for MK12, and this is probably going to be the hot take of this video, and that is I would really love to see the variation system be removed at this point. Or you can say the selectable moves if you're going with MK11. Now, while I do enjoy the variation system, and I think the variation system's implementation is probably the best in MKX, even there it has some serious issues. In MK11 it has even bigger issues, well at least until NRS allowed you to actually select your moves and have custom variations, where people just gravitated towards finding the best setup for each character. And that really is the crucial issue of the variation systems, in that I don't know if there is any character across MKX and MK11 where every single variation or option is viable. MKX in particular, almost every single character has the standout variation that everybody uses and the other ones only specialists and really just like people who want to challenge use, but they're never going to be seeing actual real competitive play. The same with MK11, even when there were two variations and then a third one at the start, every character had the one that's the strongest. And again, with the custom moveset, everybody figured out the best possible setup and are using that. So at this point, I say the better option would be to just have characters with many options. With a system like this variation system, you always have to split moves up among characters. No character essentially is going to be ever feeling complete. You look at a game like Injustice, where I think this is way better implemented. Characters have a ton of moves, they have a ton of special moves, a ton of options, and every character feels complete because of that. In MKX and MK11 in particular, you always feel like they had one character with like 10 moves, and they just split those 10 moves across three variations. And because of that, characters feel kind of limited. I mean, some of them barely have any amount of special moves. So I think having a single variation or a single character with multiple options and more special moves and more meter burn variations and more strings, all of that will allow much more tactical depth for that character than if it had one or two selectable variations. Again, the system was cool, it worked, but I think at this point it either needs a serious redesign or it needs to go, in my opinion, the preferable solution would be for it to go in its entirety. The third thing I would love to see in the new MK game is for NRS to bring back normal meter management. I do not necessarily mind the MK11 meter system, but I do think that it was an experiment and I'm not sure it worked in its entirety. I'm going to be honest with you, there is a reason that the meter burn system has pretty much been unchanged in fighting games ever since fighting games started existing. And this two-tiered sort of, I always call it like a League of Legends uh, meters management system because of the cooldowns. Again, while it was an interesting experiment and I'm not necessarily like hating on it, it was just that, an experiment. And again, everything comes down to tactical depth. Meter management is a serious component of fighting games. And in MK11, you essentially have to like not even pay attention to it. Meter management as a tactic is completely removed. Building meter, conserving it, even just the fact that your defensive and offensive options come from the same meter, all of that adds so much more tactical depth. And almost the entirety of that tactical depth was removed because well, everything just comes back after a while, like who cares? And I think it led to a lot of like bad habits, Things like people breaking immediately, you know, just going for the EX moves like crazy when they can. All of that was like seriously crazy in MK11 because there are no penalties. Like you're not actually managing your meter most of the time. And again, I would just love to see the normal meter management system return. Now, the crushing blow system and the critical system is a little bit different in my view. 
because Tekken essentially uses the same system that MK does in that once you get down to like your last, I don't know, 15, 20% of your life, you have your rage heart. And that's the part of the system I'm not entirely against. I think crushing blows are incredibly overpowered in MK11 and they need a serious rework, but the system in itself is not the worst. One of the issues with fighting games where the super move is tied to meter is that you almost never see these super moves. And I completely understand that NRS put a ton of effort into their criticals, their crushing blows. They want people to actually see them. And I think MKX really was the example here where X-rays were almost never used. I think I can count on like one finger how many times I've seen people use X-rays in like actual competitive tournaments. So I understand that. And I do think that with a rework, the crushing blow system can work. But other than that, I would really love to see meter management just return as normal meter management. Because again, in terms of the tactical depth, that's where it's at. The fourth thing I would love to see changed in Mortal Kombat 12 when it releases, I would love to see almost essentially a complete rework of the defensive options uh, within the game. Now, this is probably the biggest issue that caused me to stop playing the game. I absolutely hate the defensive systems in Mortal Kombat 11. It's probably the only fighting game I've ever played where if you knock your opponent down, whether mid-screen or in the corner, you need to make more guesses than them. There are so many myriads of options available to someone who is knocked down in MK11 that if you're the attacker, you're almost at a disadvantage. A knockdown is supposed to be rewarding. It's supposed to reward you for actually hitting your opponent with a combo and actually properly executing that combo. But the amount of powerful options simply invalidates that in MK11. Now the armor system in MKX, while it had its faults, essentially arrived to a good point by the end of the game's life cycle. The same thing with the invincible moves with Injustice 2. I much prefer both of those options. First of all, because every character has these options and they are a lot better and clearer to understand for your attacker in that regard. In Injustice 2, you always know that your opponent is going to wake up with an invincible move or is not going to wake up. That's where the guess is. Essentially, it's the same with armor in MKX or even an EX invincible move in Street Fighter. In MK11, you have to contend with rolling, invincible moves, throws, jumping, all of that. And because of that, you're always so unsure on what to do. This is especially egregious combined with the fact that the NRS games essentially have no meaties when it comes to that system. And combine that with the amount of defensive options, it just becomes a nightmare. I would much prefer if every character had similar options, not the same moves, but similar options and it was consistent across the board. Also, when it comes to defensive options, I don't think I can get away with not mentioning the breakaway system, probably the most hated mechanic in Mortal Kombat 11. This is essentially the mechanic where you can get full combo punished for getting a combo on your opponent. So you're the attacker, your opponent guessed wrong and you eat a full combo punish. And I know you can break the breakaway with certain moves from certain characters, but again, this is not consistent. Some of these moves that break the breakaway are excellent on some characters and absolutely unusable on others. The breakaway in MK11 just has no place being in a fighting game because, again, there should never be systems that punish you for making the correct guess and your opponent rewarded for making the incorrect guess. And that is exactly what the breakaway system does. I think the whole system was a lot better implemented in, again, MKX. It's probably the best iteration of the system. The penalty is quite heavy. You do need to spend two bars and both of you lose your staminas. But still, it essentially got the opponent off of you, and that's the most important feature. And at the same time, because you're both knocked away, you are not punishing your opponent, and the opponent is not punishing you either. So I think it just works a lot better, and it's probably the breaker system I would hope NRS returns to, because it was logical, and it was pretty fair as well, unlike the stupid fall out of a combo and hit the opponent full combo punish system in MK11. 
And finally, the fifth thing I would love to see in the new Mortal Kombat game, and I doubt this is going to happen, I would love to see a rework of the throw system. I think this has been something that's been a long time needed in NRS games. I just absolutely hate the fact that throws are a 50-50 guess. And I know people are going to say it's the exact same system in Tekken, but in Tekken the difference is that you can tell which throw your opponent will do and can react to it to break it. That cannot be done in the NRS games. Both the forward throw and the back throw, which need to be broken differently, all start exactly the same way. By the time you realize what throw you're going to be eating, you've already eaten that throw. It's way too late to break. So essentially, throws are always a 50-50 guess. Now, that is simply egregious when you compare how much throws do in terms of damage. Throws do 14% damage in MK11. And with that, and the fact that it's a 50-50 guess, and let's not even get into the crushing blow throws, which some characters have two of and lead to 31% combos, you have such a huge focus on throwing. I mean, MK11 was throw city. So many of the characters based entire game plans around just throwing and throwing and down one into throw and down one into back throw because this 50-50 guess mechanic is absolutely stupid when it comes to throws. People criticize the NRS games for being guessing games. There are a ton of characters with 50-50 strings and moves and all that. I don't mind that. I think that is part of the sort of identity of the NRS games. I don't mind there to be like 50-50 combo starters and 50-50 strings and overheads and lows and all that. I couldn't care less, but when it comes to throws, with how much throws reward and how much they break any defensive option, that is one aspect that should not be a 50-50. So I'm really, really hoping that NRS recognizes this, because I think it will go a long way in taking out the most frustrating guessing work out of these games. And yeah, basically with that, we've come to the end of this little list. Again, I was just spitballing off the top of my head for these five aspects that I would really love to see in the new NRS game. Um, just coming as a fighting game fan and someone who's played a lot of fighting games and loved the NRS games, again, I think these five changes would go a long way into improving sort of the quality of life and the competitiveness of these games. And yeah, we just have to see what happens when MK12 or any sort of announcement comes out for MK12 because I do have high hopes and yeah, NRS always delivers but I think there's a lot to work on in terms of the quality of life stuff for the games. Anyways, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Like I said, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications and yeah, I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.